Dear Provide Solution and Discussion of the Jasmine Workshop Exercise 2 on Interactive Computing on the SciSafe. So let's remind ourselves that task involved. So it was logging, choosing a sign, running a Python script, monitoring the resources, running a second Python script, looking at the possibility of multi-threading, and controlling the number of threads. Then we'll uh, see next a demonstration. Now we will look at, at the best practice on using the scientific analysis server. And we start by, first by the kind of tasks that are not supposed to be running on the site server. These tasks are um, classified in terms of time, how much time they, they need to run. If it's over two hours, it's just a limit, should be considered for a batch system. Application type, if it's parallel, multi-threaded, and do not run any transfer, any data transfer processes because we have the XFAIR uh, server for this, except in some um, situation when, um, when there's need of um, uh, when you have data on the scratch area that need to be moved to the group workspace. For multi-threaded code, if it needs to be tested first, you can use the high memory size server. And it is necessar necessary to consider that size servers are only for testing prototyping, but they are not for heavy processing. So any heavy processing that is c considered characteristic of high CPU, high memory, Long, t long processing time is considered as heavy processing for the, for the side machine. As uh, you have processes running on the side, is always is uh, it is important that you manage your processes. One important thing is um, if processes hangs, do not simply close them, but try to kill them gracefully using the different signal for kill or contact the help desk um, and then we can um, look at those processes because a buildup of hang processes can contribute to machine overloading. If you're running uh, applications, for example IPython, make sure you, you have a, um, a limited number of instances and um, uh, in different and other side machine because many instances of an application can impact the performance of the site server. Monitor your the CPU and the memory usage of your processes. If a process become a runaway with a lot of memory or CPU, you can either consider to kill it, or um, if it's if it's a lot of uh, work has been done and you don't want to kill it, at least suspend it for now um, as a, as busy time, and then um, continue. Uh, resume it for a run in the evening. Um, another point to, to mention here is if you're using IDL uh, which has development license on the side, these are limited and um, if you have many IDL running that can hog the IDL license server and to limit other people what they use it from using. So use, use, um, use, it, uh, um, use, use, it, use few on the side and move all your um, IDL um, application to run on Lotus because the IDL runtime licenses pool is much larger. In terms of storage, um, do not use the uh, local temporary directory on the site server. Filling the local temp can cause the scientific server to crash. Um, if you need to use a temporary directory, you can consider um, a sub directory of your group workspace and by uh, configuring or setting the environment variable tempy dr as shown here. Also, in terms of managing number of files. Um, if you create so many files on the folder on the one single directory, that can affect the performance of the server. Also, to know that the quota or the disk is um, fixed to 100 gigabytes for your home directory, so ma manage your disk usage uh, space regularly by deleting unused file and also archive file using the tar command. Now 
Now we move on to the um, um, questions that we've um, put in the uh, task and uh, we'll go through the answers. So the first question was, is there a limit on the number of processes running on the SAI server at any given time by user? There is no limit. We don't have any control um, um, on force on the limit on the number of processes. Um, but however, the user should limit the number of processes as the size because it's a shared resources. And if they have, if he, if the user wants more processing, it's better to distribute those across other size servers, as there are in total seven servers, or move the task to the Lotus Bash system. The second question was, what tasks are not suitable to run on the size server? I've already mentioned any long, heavy processing, this time consuming core-consuming, like OpenMP, multi-threaded, and also distributed memory um, um, application like MPI barrel code. So what is the software available in the module? They are classified by the JASB, Jasmine Sci. There are compilers, um, libraries like NetCDF. There are other um, of, uh, software available like the NAG library and IDL, but these one are restricted. How do you switch between different versions of the software? So, for I give so the uh, the command is to use module switch, and it's quite useful to know about the, the, the how to use this because now that we have different version of JASB, you can um, you want to enable different environments, uh, different part environments, um, or any application within that uh, JASB environment. So you can do the switch directly um, from one module, uh, from one software to the other. The text editors and IDs available on Jasmine are, for example, Emac, Vim, Enedit, Nano. Enedit is a GUI and GINE is a lightweight IDE. How to control and limit the number of threads? That has oh, that's, uh, already shown on the uh, task, which is setting the OMP num thread variable. This can be put in your .bashrc. This is only when you're doing some computing on the side server. If you're doing in the, in the bash, that would be a different way to export this variable in the job script file. And the last question was, can I install software on Jasmine? You can install software under your home directory for your own use, of course, if, you, if the license allows it for this one. And if you need to share a software environment with other Jasmine user, with the, and the license uh, allows it as well, it is better to have this um, software um, installed in the small files group workspace. Please contact the Jasmine support uh, to inquire about, um, about this. And finally, it brings us to the end. Um, so if you need any further information, the links are shown here. And thank you.